Hi, Mission Church. I don't know about you, but have you ever had that thing happen where maybe you bought a red car and everywhere you go, you see a red car? Well, that's been happening to me with the word rest. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, God put it on my heart to uh, take a day to rest and to um, pray and fast. Then a few days later, uh, our new Interim pastor Dr. Russ Martin and the board decided as a church that we are going to start rest, uh, excuse me, start praying and fasting every Monday. Then I was actually drawn to the attention of a book called The Deeply Formed Life by Rick Viotis, a great book, and it's all about rest and Sabbath and prayer and fasting. And then this last week, um, I'm actually bivocational. I work at Point Loma Nazarene University as well as a worship pastor here at Mission Church, and. We are in renewal week and they're talking about, you guessed it, rest. Then today my Abide app was actually about being still and recharging and resting. It's getting almost comical at this point. But I loved what Pastor Brian Fry said. He was actually the guest speaker for the renewal week. And he um, brought our attention to Mark 2, 23 through 27. And where Jesus says, the Sabbath was made for humans, not humans for the Sabbath. And then Brian later says, the Sabbath is a gift to habit us into the life that is truly life, a life that is meaningful. I'm grateful that I was able to take a pause and really lean into what God had to tell me. Otherwise, I would have missed all these nuggets along the way. I'm a go, go, go kind of person. I have two jobs, three kids, a husband, a dog. I love to do all of the things that life hands me. But sometimes we forget to slow down and to recharge. And the next thing we know, we're overwhelmed. And I'm so grateful for the season that I'm in because the season that I'm in is a restful season. I'm able to exercise. I'm able to get up a little bit earlier and uh, listen to a meditation and to get into the word. But at the same time, I am so grateful for a community that is leaning into that same ideal. The Sabbath is a gift, and sometimes we think of it as a to-do list, like something we have to do, but it's a gift to us to recharge us, not only to recharge us, but allow us to see all that God has for us, to see the creation that he's created for us, and to see what he wants to, to show us and tell us and help us with the, up as, he, as the week comes up um, again. So I hope that you will lean into the Sabbath with a new eye of it not being something that you have to do but something that you are gifted, that God has given us. I hope this has encouraged you today and thank you for watching. Take care.